Hi guys, welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Today we're going to get into the patch house. We're going to clean out this garage. I know you guys didn't get a, a chance to see it before, but uh, it's just nasty. It's full of junk. We'll get it cleaned out and we're going to get in here and finish cleaning up the, the inside and start pulling the patches out of the patch floor. So stick around and we'll show, I'll show you what we got going on. Tiniest violin playing. I heart pumps pure P for your pain. Well, see how you are? <laughs> okay, you guys. We're up here. As you can see, Patch House is losing its patches now. Getting all these carpet samples pulled out. I mean, that old shag carpet's pretty rugged. Still got a few squares left in here. I haven't touched the dining room. I got these squares left in the hallway and the doorway. But what we just found does not surprise me directly under the wall heater. We have discovered the floor furnace. Yay! Too bad I'm not collecting pliers. I found the big set. Okay, guys, we have all the carpet squares pulled out of the dining room and most everything out of the living room. I've still got a little bit over here in the corner left. Yeah, I'm going to pull out, but I've got stuff laid on there that I need to keep. Uh, we went ahead. I've come in the hallway and got these out. So we're going to make a quick discovery on this floor real quick i have not been inside this floor other than this little bitty spot that you guys saw before so i started to pull this up right here in the hallway we are directly outside the bathroom i haven't pulled it out enough to see what's under it so i just pulled it up like this you see there's a good pad there oh my goodness you guys so far so good let's get us a bigger spot here I've got my knife let's go ahead and just cut this and this will be so amazing this will be freaking phenomenal 
Sorry for all the shaking, but I'm just trying to move. It. Okay, here we go. Big reveal in the hallway by the bathroom. Oh, oh no. Looks like we're gonna have a bunch of water damage right there, you guys. This may be a game changer. Okay, I've got this piece pulled up. Oh, you guys, look at this. And look at this. It doesn't appear to be water damaged. Oh, yes. All right, let's go out here. I'm going to come out here in the middle and see right about where that seam's at in that high traffic area. I'm going to cut that right there. We're going to cut it, put us a T cut in there and see what the center of this looks okay. like. Okay. Y'all ready for this? I'm going to cut this way and this way with my T cut so we can kind of expose what's out here. I'm going to move over here just a little bit. That way we can see what this high traffic area looks like. Here we go. If my old dull knife will cut it. There's one way. I could go get a new blade. I got some in the van. I'm too excited. I want to see what's under here. Save somebody just see that? Let me get you over here a little closer. Look at that, you guys. Even out here, looking inside there. I bet that scrubs right off of there. Oh my goodness. This is what I live for. Anytime I can find a hardwood floor we can save, it's a great day. It just gives me more motivation to get back up here as quick as I can and uh, get get some painting done, get some sheetrocking done, because we got to get this place ship shape. We got to get it moving. Uh, what are you doing? I'm acting like Tim from Ridge Life. Surface, surface, surface. Woo Gotta get this thing moving forward. Got a, uh, had a lady stop today ask me if it was for sale or rent. I told her both. She's very interested, so hopefully I can be in and out here in the next three weeks. It's gonna be quite a bit of work in here, but if we can save this hardwood floor, it's gonna be a lot of hours crawling across the floor, pulling all the nails, because they didn't just use staples to attach these carpet squares, they used finished nails, I found screws, I've got staples, all that's gotta be done and pulled out before I can ever even think about letting somebody else come in here. But we're gonna get all the nails pulled out of the walls. In the next couple days, we've got a bad spot in the wall you see behind me there, we gotta fix it up, but yeah three days in and we have made a lot of progress y'all so stick around see what else we can come up what what else we get into in this house but that's what we got we've got all those carpet squares pulled up uh, and isn't that awesome when those hardwood floors look so promising you guys so hopefully we can salvage those floors if the the water damage isn't, we don't have any water damage or pet damage in there. 
or really bad stains of some kind. Hopefully we can save them. It'll just take a lot of crawling across the floor, pulling nails and staples. <clears throat> but I'm headed to Lowe's to get some bug bombs so we can bomb the crap out of this house. And we're going to get rid of our roll-off that I've already called. They're coming to pick it up. So it's moving, guys. Uh, as soon as we can get the, the bug situation under control, we're going to get in there, start fixing walls and getting some paint up. So uh, if you like what you see, guys, make sure that you hit that like button. Share with your friends. Smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We can't do any of this without you guys. So until next time, see ya. Where is that? It's the tiniest violin playing, I'm not saying it, playing pure pee for you. The ship's going down, Captain. Yep, that's not going to do it. It was doing it. Who are you trying to contact? Anybody to come and save me from this sinking ship. Oh, look at the red light. If that doesn't work, Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs>